Hello everybody, Sunny Turtle. It's 8 p.m. It's time for The Hunter Season 2. This season is going to be all about exploring the worlds that we have access to, and we're just going to look around, go to all the cool spots that the game has to offer, and basically show off the nature and the points of interest and all that. And with me, as always, is Lottie. Hi. And we're not going to focus on hunting in The Hunter this time. You're just going to be going from place to place. We're going to look at all the, all the pretty sights and all the scenery. But of course, if we see something, like if we see uh, an easy target, you know, we'll take a shot at it. But it's not our priority. You know, hunting has always been my priority. Yes, but thankfully, uh, your opinion is entirely void. <laughs> and uh, goes ignored. <laughs> um, well, okay, so the thing is, uh, if you want to, you can always break off and go hunting if you want. Since uh, you only really need me to go to the ver the actual places for, you know, because I'm the camera. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I like to, do, to be. Well, I like, might do at some point, as if I find something, I'll go off and hunt it, then come back. Yeah, I like to be in the vicinity, though. Like, don't go to the other side of the map. Obviously. So, right now we're going to the very southern point of the island, and this is probably the easiest and most direct way to go there. We're just going to follow the coastline. Hmm? We'll keep our eyes open for uh, some animals. There are no dinosaurs in this, because this isn't the Hunter Primal. The Hunter Primal Aww. does not, in fact, have the, uh, the point of interest feature. Although it does have a lot of pretty things to look at. Yeah, like Triceratops running at you. Yeah, or T-Rex. Oh, oh. Or a Uteraptor. Sorry, that you got killed up by, killed by the last time? I got killed by a T-Rex. Yeah. yeah. I, I, shot a, I shot a Triceratops, and the commotion of me running away from it when it decided to charge me attracted the T-Rex that was on the other side of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bubbles, by the way. He's our little buddy. Bubbles. You sat there watching me still. Oh well, yeah. The rule is, yeah. he, when yeah. when you talk to him, he doesn't give a fuck. But when you talk to me, you know, then it's time to uh, make yourself known. What's the matter? He's just being a cool guy. The other two are going to sleep. That's good. Hi, Diddy. Maybe he'll go to sleep too. I doubt it. I doubt Light. it. He won't sleep. Alright, we're... So this is basically what it's going to be like. It's going to be very chill. We're just going to be mostly just talking and chatting as we uh, make our way. Oh, there could be a lot to talk about. Yes, like, uh, how super good I am at a bullet skit, too. <laughs> how Minsk has a Vorpal Blade that can, has a 25% chance of just straight up killing dude, anything dude, he strikes. Dude, 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 dude. What? Talk about this game. Uh, alright, well, in this game, I've got a 7mm Vorpal handgun that uh, has a 25% chance of killing anything it shoots. I have a... Uh, I just hit level 18 in Hunter Mage, and I've got a new spell called uh, Deer Death Spell, and I can cast it, and all deer <laughs> in a 50 foot radius have to roll to save versus death or die. He's pretty so good. you are definitely trying to make it sound like another game there. Oh, but for reals, uh, hey. I did get a new gun. This here is the 7mm Magnum. As you can see, it has a clip that attaches to the side. It's got this beautiful oh, stock. It's got this beautiful shape to it. I got the Anschutz uh, scope on it, and look at this hilt. It's just, it's just a beautiful gun. I do believe Lottie, you have this as well, as well don't you? I already had it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you like it? Uh, it's alright. Just alright? You've got great for it. Hmm? Have you got great for it? Yeah, 
Have you got the scope for it? I've got the Anschutz scope for it. I don't, I, know I don't have like the official scope, but I have a scope for it, yeah. I think I've got eight scope. Well, how do you like it? You're not I've a big fan? Used them, I can't remember. Hmm. I need to use it more. But on this game, I can only hunt mule deer at the moment. Yeah, that's right. We'll, we'll hook you up with a membership in a moment. Or other, uh, after this later. I also got this. A .22 air gun. Or rather, an air rifle. It's got a 22, uh, .22 air, air rifle pellets. Ten of them. You know, you can see the little cylinder like right there. Right in front of the, uh, the aim thing. That cylinder holds the pellets. And since I this is... You. Very good. And since this is an air gun, yeah. it's very weak. Like, you can see, uh, what I'm holding there with my left hand. That is actually the the air canister or the gas canister and that is what drives the bullets uh, and as you can imagine it's not super powerful it it does not have an effective range beyond 50 meters and a lot of my hunts go on at like 100 meters plus at least that's my favorite way to hunt is at 100 meters plus you're taking those really long range shots and getting the animal to just Bam, straight in there. There's Lottie with their Parker Python compound bow. I just heard a mule deer. There's a mule deer directly to my left. Northeast of us. Wait, 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 wait. She may go chasing after a bullet. Of course, I'm not gonna. I've got more cool things I to do. I didn't hear it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's directly northwest, uh, northeast of us. It's, oh no, I can't mark it because we've got a marker to follow. Oh, Are you I'm calling? Click, click the button. Oh, there we go. Trying to. As you can see, we're about yeah. a third of the way there. This is gonna take a while. Like, can I start running, actually? Is that cool? No, oh, okay. Sure. Can I? Are you cool then? I can walk. Fine. I can walk. Well, PC is actually very pretty here. Anyway. So my dad has been has been playing this game a lot. Like he's got a hundred plus hours on this. Yeah. And he's a lot like me when it comes to environment. Like he called me the other day and we were talking to him and he brought up the fact that there are fish in this game. Which I did as well, uh, in one of our streams you remember. I can't remember which map it was, but I stopped and I was staring at the staring at the water because in fact there were fish there just swimming around and it's such a nice little detail there's absolutely no need for the guys at Expensive World to actually go ahead and put fish into the game none at all they could absolutely go you know skip it because I mean look at this it's just water right it's just water you don't need to push your fish in there nobody's gonna be looking for them basically but as I was crossing I actually did look and by accident, I did, in fact, see... Uh, I was crossing a river, and I, I noticed... Uh, I noticed a fish in the sea. Oh, no, uh, if, I'm sorry, fish in the river. And I was just so happy to see it. I don't see any fish here. But this is the ocean, and... You don't usually see fish, like, right here. At least not in real life. At least I don't. I was going to say, maybe you don't. Do you? I have them. You've seen fish just at the, at the shoreline. Yeah. Really. Yeah. What a nerd. Bloody fish. What? Baby fish. What are those? Baby fish. Oh, baby fish. Sheesh, man. You're, you do not have a good mic. You see baby fish in the ocean? Yeah. Just kind of swimming around. Yes. Yeah. Weird. I've never seen a baby fish. They stick close ocean. to the shoreline where the rock falls are. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, we got coyotes directly in front of us. Oh yeah, I had them. I can't shoot them though. That's all right. They're sweet animals. I need a license. One day. One day. No. 
The shadows in this game are also pretty pretty. There's basically everything in this game is very pretty. Fifth the blood, underscore 50. You're actually just ahead of me. I think I got 48. Yeah, I got Oh, yeah, that means you've been hunting. You've been I was hunting kills. before you anyway. Yeah. But I caught up. Yeah, I know. Because I'm so fucking I'm super stuck. swole. I mean, you sir. You're roboting a little bit. I'm useless. You are not. I am. No. You have murdered over 50 innocent animals. Innocent defenseless animals. You are not useless. You I are am. a cold-blooded psychopath. That was very nice to know. What? I'm glad you brought that up. What? <laughs> I'm sweet and innocent. I'm trying to compliment you. I'm sweet and innocent. Oh, the coyotes are somewhere up there, but I don't see them. <laughs> He's not answering that one. Nope. One day I'll kill them all. I have killed a coyote a couple of times now. It feels really good. Uh, you might have. I, wouldn't. I haven't. No, just one. I'll just kill one, didn't I? I ran to the pack and the pack just walked into me and I managed to shoot one right in the noggin as it was walking towards me. Am I still the... ahead of you? Oh yeah. You're uh, 23 meters to my south. South by southwest. Ah! Trees! 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 Trapped! So... Okay. You know about the the countries and the British Isles? Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me what they are? Wait, is it in the UK? Uh huh. Northern Ireland, England, mm -hmm. Wales, Scotland. Okay, excellent. And you know where they all are? <laughs> uh, Scotland's up north. Yep. Wales is to the east of me, I think. Uh, even west, 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 west. There you go. I'm no good with directions, and Ireland's just kind of like even further west. That is correct. But France. Been there. You been to France? Mm-hmm. So you know where it is. Mm-hmm. Where is it? South. How far south? <laughs> I don't know how far. Just give me like a give me a like rough estimate. Is it like as far as Ireland? Uh, possibly a little bit further. Okay. Yeah. You actually you got that. The reason why I'm giving her shit is because she's not very good at geography, and I always said uh, that uh, I would. Oh, I see. Well, I always said that I, I was going to try and be a little bit more of it into you. And I think this is an excellent time to do it. Where else have you gone? <laughs> You're going to torture me with lessons. Yeah, wh where else have you gone? Where else have I gone? Mm -hmm. Nowhere. <laughs> I've never gone anywhere else. <laughs> no. Okay, you, you, like you know Canada. you know France. Oh, there's a coyote, it's northeast okay. of us. Uh, and you know World War Two, right? Yeah. So where's Germany? Uh, I don't know that one. You don't know Germany? No. Uh, I'll... I'll give you what a hint. What? Can I ask my brother? <laughs> no! I'll give you a hint. <laughs> they invaded France. <laughs> They Belgium. border France. But they have no, a very uh, large uh, no, border uh, that... What? No, no, no. They went through Belgium. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They do border France. The defensive line that the French built against them was called the Magnet, 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 line, Magnet line. But the Germans went around it through Belgium. That's absolutely correct. So you know where Belgium is? 
Mm-hmm. And then you know where Germany is. I guess. Yes. Where is it? Well, next to Belgium. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> give me a direction. Give me a direction. Where is it from France? Um, um, you got this. Yes! <laughs> Do you remember the first country that Germany invaded? Invaded, not annexed. Just actually declared war on and invaded. Uh, Poland. Exactly, and Poland is north of Germany. Not quite. Uh, north of Germany is the Baltic Sea. <laughs> go on, go on, try again. I don't know. You, you got it. There's three directions left. Eastern. Yes. West. Poland is in East. between, or used to be in between. Uh, it's got so many Polish bus drivers. Oh, you do. Well, we, we have a lot of Polish people uh, in Iceland as well. You got a lot of Polish immigrants? Mm hmm. It's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, we get a lot of Polish people up here. Uh, not a lot of them actually. Well, actually, no, there's a quite a bit of them that uh, settled in. Well, you, you know the dudes that drive me to college are Polish. Yes. Is Seandercraft actually... Points with the, yes! Denmark is north of Germany, but... I mean, I mean, I know that. I know my Europe. I'm just saying... You know, it's the Baltic Sea is north of Germany. Right? Don't have to, I'm... I know... How defensive. <laughs> I know Europe. I know the Czech Republic, and I know Slovakia. They're right next to each other. They used to be Czech, the Czech Republic, the Czechoslovakian Republic, but uh, they got split in uh, Second World War. You know, the Sudan land got annexed by Germany, and Austria is south of Germany, and Switzerland is west of uh, Austria. Italy is south of them both. Spain is south of France. Uh, Navarra is in between them. Uh, no not way. quite south of it. What do you mean, not south of it? It's not quite south of France. Where is it then? North-southwest. I guess, but it is south of it. It shares the southern border. It's got a very long southern border, actually. And it's not Navarra. Yes, Navarra it's does, it's isn't actually... On Spain. Seantocraft has a question for you, actually. Belgium is what? south of what? What country? Oh, God, I don't know. You, you are... Did I, I think... just say that one? Yes, yeah, no virus is a country. It's a part of Spain. There's a there is a country though in between France and Spain. I can't remember what its name is. A Port something? What? Portugal. Portugal is in the west coast. Good try though. Uh, Argent Argentina. Argentina is in South America. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. I am not making fun of you. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> uh, yeah. Argentina is in South what? America. Uh, it's the. No, it's not the southernmost country in, Amer in South America. That would be Chile, to be speaking, because Chile owns the very southern part. Uh, I have I have just realized my cat has lied down next to me. You know the Netherlands, right? Mm. You know the Netherlands uh, yes. encompasses Belgium and... Mm, yeah. What's the country? Belgium and... The US Wait, Western country, Belgium rebelled and became independent from um, um, I have no idea. Andorra! Yes! Thank you, Shandercraft. It's not, by the way, Andorra is not the country I'm talking about. Andorra is the country between Spain and France. It's very small, it's very cute. Is an adorable little country because it's so tiny. There are wolves directly to the left of me. Two I mean. The country I'm talking about is Holland. Okay. You know what? He actually, Chandler actually brings out a fun uh, little quote there. He says, We're not in Crusader Kings 2 time anymore. That's true. We should play Crusader Kings 2 so I can teach you geography. Chris. <laughs> It is such a... Okay, I'm catching up with you on a walking. It is such a good game to learn <laughs> geography in. That and, uh... 
What was it called? Hearts of Iron 2. 3. Holland is not a country? What do you mean? Well, in Iceland we call it Holland. It's... What do you mean it's not a country? What do you mean it's not a country, Sandercraft? You need to fucking... Wait, <laughs> Holland is not a country? Is it the Netherlands now? Is it just called the Netherlands now? No. The Dutch live in Holland, come on. Holland is a region divided into areas, North and South Holland. My, um... They are provinces of the Netherlands. Oh, uh, so the ne uh, It is? Uh, what? Meh. The yard manager at college is from Hol Holland, that... I guess, yeah, the country's called the Netherlands. So it is the Netherlands. If I'm not mistaken, the Southern Holland uh, contains Zealand, which also contains the capital of Holland, whose name I can't remember. Uh, but it's famous for its uh, drug culture, particularly uh, marijuana. The drug province. I thought you were going to say Viagra rather. Viagra? <laughs> <laughs> A fucking one-track mind. No, 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 no. Uh, marijuana. <laughs> it's it's weed. It's where you go to get like, like there are coffee houses or whatever where you can just go and smoke weed and eat. Uh, it's because it's legal out there. Yeah, laced cookie, uh, laced uh, cookies and brownies. And... My friend got drugged by brownies. Zealand? Huh? Zealand is a province south of South Holland. What? Isn't Zealand in the north? Isn't Zealand like the northernmost part of? Northeastern part of no? See, oh. I'm not very I'm not good on the intricacies of the Netherlands. No. What a nice walk this is. I love talking about geography. I love talking about countries and whatnot. Amsterdam, thank you. Sandcraft brings uh, up another very interesting tidbit. Uh, the capital of the Netherlands is North Holland, but the capital of North Holland is actually Harlem. Oh, and he is from... Oh, you're Dutch. That's right, yeah. Um, Amsterdam is like the sex capital of the world. The sex capital? I am just saying. Really? Yes. I so never heard that. that, but I'll take your word for it. That's what I've been told. There's so many hookers and like prostitutes and that out there. Really? Yeah. Weed and hookers. Yeah. This is a good reputation to have. <laughs> uh, well, we are almost here. Oh yeah, he he actually backs it up. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. I know something for once. Excellent. What else do you know about <laughs> Europe? <laughs> uh, Just anything you remember. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything cool or fancy, like just like say Berlin is the capital of Germany. Paris <laughs> is the capital of France. That's true. <laughs> Can you name two landmarks in France? No, three landmarks in France that are uh, in Paris. Sorry. Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower, yes. Um, the Tower of Notre Dame. Wait, is that Paris? I think so. I'll take your word for it. The Tower of Notre Dame. Uh, I've never heard of that. Have you not? Is we have an area in Amsterdam that's about two square kilometers with lots of windows and these ladies wait for customers. Jesus Christ. Shush! Shush! I mean, I, I know about the, the the chapel. We're here. The, uh, <clears throat> the Notre Dame, as I like to call it. And here we are. So this is the first point of interest uh, that we're visiting. It's a little uh, power station. This is not a power plant, if I'm not mistaken. This is just a, uh, what do you call them? 
It's like a little relay thing, whatever. Oh, you can go into it, I think. I don't think you can. Oh, no, you can't. How can't the Notre Dame okay. de Paris, it's indeed? Gate, I totally can't. Okay, so you had the, the, the Notre Dame. You had uh, the, 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 the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Can you give me another one? Now we're gonna head up to the bridge, so let's go. Uh, well, this is this is kind of this is just a power station, and it's there you go. It's not super interesting to look at, but here you go. It's the first point of interest. It is unique. You will not find this anywhere else in the game. It is just here. So now we head uh, inland. So uh, sorry, yeah, go on. You need one more, one more point of uh, one more landmark. Um, I'm trying to think. There's the river that goes through Paris. There is a river, but that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, I don't know anymore. Uh, do you know a museum? A famous museum? Um, uh, uh I know of a museum, but I can't think of the name of it. The Louvre. The Louvre. That's what you mean, right? Uh, yeah. Have you been there? Uh, was going to. Oh, but he does. We did. Where didn't you go? We went to the river instead. Oh, did you go? Off? That was another thing I was thinking about. You went to what instead? We went to the river and had a boat trip down it. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. I cannot remember the name of the river that goes to Paris. I. It's very, it's very um famous because it's like a love spot and that. Well, it's we a famous river, absolutely. Ever. I hate geography. Oh, I love it. Why do you hate it? I don't know. <laughs> I have a theory it's for why. You probably had shitty teachers that didn't make it fun. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna go okay. to a camping site up there uh, first. What? He made it fun. He was just mm, yeah. He made Jerry fun, and yet you don't like it. Look, I'm simple-minded. You are not simple-minded. Do not ever say that again. <laughs> no such thing. Simple minded. You are not. When it comes to these things, it's all about practice. Uh, no, Lottie is not American. She's actually. You want to tell them where you are from? England. That's right. She's English. Do I sound American? No. It's just. Uh, the Americans are the ones that are stereotypically ignorant of geography and. Uh,. Europe in general. I was gonna say. No, you don't sound American at all. You get this very thick accent. Yeah. It's not. It's not. There's <laughs> nothing to be embarrassed about. You're British. It's fine. You get a British accent. Yeah. English accent. I kind of wish you had Cockney because Cockney's fucking great. Can you speak in Cockney? No. You didn't even try. You too, shush. Thank you. Uh, say, oi, governor. Mm. There's uh, coyotes to our northwest. Do you see them? You're making me blush. By saying, oi, governor. <laughs> you are, yeah, you are very used to make blush. I don't actually see them. I see the top of a tower. Wait, no. I do not see any innocent animals to savagely murder. Do you? No. no. Not like to murder them anyway. Uh, you could pretend to. You could point a gun at them and go bang bang and hope they know how to play dead. There are two things running around in the cage after each other next to me that I would like to um, quieten. That's very cute though. Sinegar says she doesn't sound American, but there's a bit of static when she talks, so she's hard to hear. That is true. She doesn't have a very good internet connection, sadly. 
My dad believes in Jesus. AKA. Case in point, we can understand a word you said just now. We, we did hear the birds running a circuit with each other. That was really cute. Good track over there. Oi! Oi! Oh, my life, you two. Yeah. I thought you just stay still. They'll be alright. They're in love. They're not even interested in each other. That's the funny bit. Oh, she or oh, oh, I, I already tortured her about that. Sandacraft is asking though, so just out of curiosity, which country is north of England? <laughs> it's north of England. Yeah. As in just England. Yeah. Not like because Scotland's north of England. Yes, that is what he was going for. I I assume. Although I guess it is is it a country? What? Scotland is is is, is Scotland a country? I mean yeah. it is a country, but is it considered a country right now? Yes. So England, North Ireland, Scotland, West, these are all indi well individual countries, but they all belong to the same good. government. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. I wasn't really sure about that. I just kind of assumed that uh they, they they had been assimilated. Like they just were now a part of England, or rather, they were part of the United Kingdom. He was actually going for the Kingdom oh, of Albia or Alba. Isn't Kingdom of Albia uh, Scotland? But dude. Yeah. Whoever, whoever is in the chat with you. Yeah. I don't know very 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 complicated words of countries. That was not. A That's fine. We're heading northwest towards that, uh. Oh, I heard that. It's a white tailed deer. It's right over there. I don't think I can see it. Or something. What? Who, what was someone saying about torturing me over? Nothing. Nobody said that. Alba is Scotland, yeah. Well, I know it as, uh, Albia. You have found a track for a white tail deer, but you do not have a license to shoot it with. You saw one? No, I found a track of one. Uh, there's also north of uh, Scotland is the Faroe Islands. And Orkney, I guess, or Orkney is to the northeast. No, and then you have Iceland. But then that is northwest. Is, is that really bad that I didn't know that was north of England? What? Uh, Iceland? <laughs> no, nah, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but it's fine. I feel bad now. Uh, it, it's, it's mostly... Primarily it's bad because I've already told you this. <laughs> I am currently in North America. I am in continental North America. I am on the... Huh? I am on the... Uh, shit, what do you call them? The, 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 whoa, you're losing connection. I am on the continental raft, not raft, but in Icelandic we call it raft, a fleki. Uh, shelf? Continental shelf? Well, the continental thingamajig that moves around, English, hard. Uh, because the split between uh, Europe and America actually goes through the, the very middle of the Atlantic. And right through Iceland. Iceland, in fact, rose from those two pieces moving away from each other, causing uh, lava to rise up between them and forming Iceland. Uh, she is still in the game, but the call died. She'll be back momentarily. Until then, we are just about to arrive at our second... She's still here, right? Did she disconnect? Fuck her! She disconnected. Alright, so this is the second place to look at.
Whoa, did I do that? Fucking out. <clears throat> so, oh, yep, there we go. Lottie's calling. Yeah. Now let's go fucking Skype and go. There we go. Hello. Hi. Here we have. Check this out. No, check this out. We got motherfucking milk right here. Look at this milk. What a sick fucking milk. So this is a uh, campsite. You can actually travel to these if you have camping supplies. And oh, that's actually what it is. This game is the hunter. Just straight up the hunter. And I'm gonna continue going north. Uh, yep. Yeah, this is just a little campsite that you can fast travel to. It's a little lodge over there. Uh, I think this is where you can start seeing a little. Yeah. Well, you can see that there's been some uh, deforestation. There's some uh, cutting here. But it's over. The quit. Gosh, shit. Shannoncraft says, also, just to give you a quick heads up, you uploaded the last bunch of YouTube with the wrong name. Damn it! What did I name it? Is it is it not episode 33? Did I name 32? Was it 34? Numbers, man, they're fucking hard. Alright, we are now running because we have Lottie to uh, wait up for. I'm just gonna run through here. <laughs> you think he can wait for me? So, uh, if we see any bunny rabbits, I'm gonna fucking kill one. Oh, for God's sake, go back. I love oh, bunny rabbits. Dear. Uh, I named it 32. Okay, thanks, buddy. I'll, I'll go and rename it. Thanks, man. No bunnies? Nope. I've run into bunnies just by. Whoa. What's that? that is a the white top of a log. I thought for a second that might have been a rabbit. Nope, I see it now. It's just a uh, tree trunk. Tree trunk. I don't expect to see anything here. I'm just being very hopeful. Look at that fucking bird. It's not a huntable bird though. It's just a bird bird. Yeah, you know how school is career fair from time to time? You know how it's just a big new hunt? Okay, am I on? I heard a... I just heard a doggy dog. That's Coyote. So we're heading... We're actually heading into Coyote territory. If, uh... Where I want to go is actually... Yeah, around right there, actually. That's actually spot on. So there's two episodes of 32, yeah. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. I really do. I'll change that immediately after this. But yeah, we're going into uh, coyote territory. When you want to hunt, when you want to hunt coyotes, this is the place to be. This is the place to go. Uh, yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, so good. So as long as we've moved on from geography. Uh. I guess we have. <laughs> Good. I just talked about the formation of Iceland. Oh. I think I missed that bit. So how about geology? <laughs> Astronomy? Astrology? <laughs> Astro astrology. Astronomy is the... Oh no. It's the oh, whole, no. Uh, like, uh, Pisces. Like, uh, <laughs> are you Pisces? That means you're a piece of shit. Not Pisces, by the way. <laughs> Capricorn. You yeah, Capricorn? Mm-hmm. Okay, in, uh, in the binding of Isaac, Isaac, in the binding of Isaac, if you get the Capricorn sign, which is an item pickup, uh, you get a boost to every single one of your stats, and your head turns into a fuzzy satyr head. <laughs> If you get Pisces, uh, I can't remember what Pisces is actually. I think it, uh, I think it makes you feel pure and. That's cute. Oh, history. We're gonna history. What's cute? I'm just 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 watching the two birdies, and she sat there grooming him. He's not Aww. giving her any attention. So she's trying to win it from him. 
That's adorable. Oh, Grooming oh. Is, is very important for uh, them to, uh, when they're bonding. It's, it's really it's very important. He's ignoring her, though. No, he's just enjoying She's it. He's definitely trying to get his attention. No, it's just what birds do. They groom each other. It's right. Don't worry about it. He's not doing anything. He's, he's just probably, that. Yeah, he's just, he's just enjoying it. He'll, he'll repay the favor. Don't oh, no, sure now he's buying her. <laughs> oh, I bet he will. He'll be fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> Excuse me. They'll be fine. So history. Do you want to suggest? Oh, no, 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 no. You're no. not good at history? No. No, don't go to history. <laughs> really? <laughs> history worse than geography. Oh, there we see a coyote that actually I hurt me and ran off. Did we get to see I it? chose geography over history. Oi! History is actually uh, one of my favorite subjects. I don't like it. It's worse than geography. That's because you're a nerd. What do you like? What's your favorite thing to study? Art. Art, really? Oh, you're losing connection. What kind of art? Well, like I said, she doesn't have she doesn't have the best connection. In fact, I, if I'm not mistaken, she has free internet, free wireless internet, that uh, you know, isn't in her house. It's not stolen internet. It is literally free internet that she's just very lucky enough to uh, actually have reach her house. Which Roman emperor put in a horse as a counselor? Oh God, fuck! I I've heard about that. I know that, but. Well, okay, no, somebody said, uh, you either know it or you don't. If you forget it, then just fuck you. So, I don't remember. Uh, Nero was the guy that w was supposedly fiddled as the, as Rome burned. But well, people say that may not actually have happened in fiddling. But I don't think it was so insane that he actually appointed a horse's council. Was it Nero? I don't believe it's Nero, but is it Nero? That's my guess. I'm guessing. Is Nero that insane? I thought it, I thought Nero was just a like a sociopath, a psychopath, but not like. What am I hearing here? Oh, what is calling? I hate my internet. Wait, there weren't many emperors either. So who who was it? Hello, welcome back. So who was it? Who was the Roman emperor that appointed a horse as counselor? The Roman Emperor did what? There was a Roman Emperor that appointed a horse as a counselor. Oh my god, I love that person. <laughs> Just yeah. for doing that. He was... Oh, it was, Cal it was Caligula! It was Caligula! Oh my god! I remember... Ah, uh, I remember that from when I was a kid. Emperor... Ca yeah! Ah, oh, that makes me happy. Thanks, man. That's cool. You want to know my favorite lesson? Yes. Art. Uh, what kind of art? Drawing. So just like uh. Drawing, painting, pastel drawing. Do you paint? I can do. Really? Not very well, but yeah. Oh, uh, is that? Are you studying to draw? Or are you studying drawing? Like, are you studying? Other people's art, or are you studying to do art? Do. That's really cool. That's what I. I did. Did art for my GCSE exams before I went to college. That right there was a little white tail. But again, we're not out here to hunt, so that's why I'm walking and running, and that means everybody's gonna hear me. Nobody, nobody's gonna let me hunt them. That right there was a pheasant flying off. And here we go. This is the second true point of interest. I guess it's the third point of interest is since we're counting the uh, the campfires. It is really long and absolutely pointless drawbridge. I guess, well, pointless. I guess it's not really pointless. I don't know. But I mean, I don't know. You just walk around, I guess. But it, it's kind of cool. I like it. Oh, dear. I just saw an animal. Rather, it triggered me. Like, give me credit for seeing an animal. 
there is fine. We're gonna walk up there. We're gonna cross the bridge. What's the matter, Bubbles? I know, mate. Ooh, there's a mushroom. Fucking get it. Shroom, shroom. Here we go. Here's the bridge itself. We're gonna have a little map here. Just a little bit of shade. Cold, hard sun. You see, there's a camp. camp Why there. is it Been just there. white tail deer? The hunting lodge that we came from. There's another campfire up there, and there's another hunting lodge up there, up north. Up where? What? Where are you? I'm at the bridge. Danger! Bridge crossing. Cross at your <laughs> own risk. Which we're gonna do. Imagine if it just fell on. Do you know Slenderman? Meh. Uh, Slenderman's symbol is actually on the warning sign there. Oh dear. I reckon you could be Slenderman. I'm too fat to be Slenderman. <laughs> You're a big teddy bear. Uh, yeah, Slenderman is not a big teddy bear. Okay, another subject he suggests. Alright. What? Oh, you like horses, right? Yeah. You ride. Yeah. Do you com do you do competitive riding? No, not at the moment. But you do like you 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 told me that you uh like do horse jumps and all of that. Um, I'm gaining my confidence again with that. But yeah. So that's that's a kind of a uh, competitive. That's that's used in no, competitions, right? Not. I mean, you're it not competing, be. but yeah, you're not competing, but you're you're learning this stuff. What else are you learning? What do you mean? Like with riding horses, what el what other techniques are they teaching you? Um. Um. Oh, it's flowers. Okay. Don't know. Flat work, lateral work. What's that? Going around in circles, sideways. What substance is known as CHH C A H ten N four O two? Is that caffeine? What? Uh, which substance? What substance is scientifically known as C H H ten N four O two? No clue. I'm guessing it's caffeine. There's like the uh, the famous one. That everybody has to quote. Do you know? Uh, wait, uh, the most basic one is H two O. You know that? Yeah. What does it stand for? Water. Yes, but what does what's the H two O stand for? Uh, hydrogen. Yes. Two and carbon. No. And oxygen. Yes. 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 Caffeine, indeed. Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Fucking yeah. So good. I'm the best. That's all I know, though. That's seriously all I know. I only know H2O. That's it. Well, and there's like like O2 and like uh, like various like little things that I can I guess I can recognize a glance, but not really. I never actually learned that stuff. I never took any classes on it in school or anything like that. Everything I know about that is just stuff that like I see and somehow remember. Are they making out? No, they're just screaming at each other. That's kind of like making out for birds. She's trying to get... I don't know what she's trying to get. She's got a beak down the back of her cage. She's trying to get something out, but she can't. I think she's trying to rip the paper up. Silly bird. They like, they like tearing things apart. These little sure. bird, birds like that are fucking just... They love nothing more than destroying everything you love. If they can find something to bite and gnaw and rip and tear, they will fucking do it. Bubbles is having a tantrum. Really? What's he doing? Shaking his toy around frantically. Oh, that's cute though. So here's another Slenderman sign. Danger! Bridge crossing! Cross at your own risk. 
Which I did. I fucking did, because I'm a fucking man. And, uh... I guess that's... I guess that's it. Wait, There's wait, another wait, campsite wait. up there, which you can go check out tomorrow, but... For now, Before tonight, that's it. Stream. Stream. Before you end the stream... I'm not going to for another ten minutes. I know, but... Before you do, yeah. say something on Icelandic for everyone. Okay, uh... Við erum að spila The Hunter og við erum að skoða landið, við erum að skoða kortið, við erum að fara um til þess að sjá allir flottir staðina. Uh, is that, does that work for you? <laughs> All I could understand was The Hunter, but yeah. Yeah, uh, I just said what I already said, like there's a hunter or a fucking looking around, we're exploring. My, my dad is so addicted to this game. But he's been having issues where he, he's not getting credit for the kills he's uh, scoring, and it's really annoying him because he actually closed the game properly. No, it's been crashing when he does. Yeah, that's 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 why. Unless you close the game yourself, it won't count the score. That's annoying. You have to actually it. exit the game with the button. Norwegian is actually. The uh, the younger language. I speak like Old Norse. They speak like New Norse. They speak like fucking one of you Norse. I speak Hipster Norse. Like, I speak the language that was the language before the language. I'm the cool one. <laughs> but yeah, my dad is actually on the verge of quitting this game because the joy he gets out of it is actually to score points to go up the ranking. Like, he likes to climb the ladder. Like what he he got to forty thousand, top forty thousand. He's like, oh, it's not a big deal. And then he called me later, and said, "Oh, dude, I'm in the, like in the twenty eight thousand now." He's like really happy about it, and he's been falling down the ladder because he's been he hasn't been getting points, and it's really driving him. Just like and that's, that's the only thing that's making him not want to play the game, and it's really sad. But we we send in the support tickets, so hopefully they'll uh, we'll that. Okay. So she knows stuff about art. What style of art did Vincent Van Gogh paint in? Oh Van Gogh. God, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I know. I know the name. I know Vincent Van Gogh. Shh, fuck, dude. I can't remember what he did. Did you not stir, uh, study uh, art history? No. You didn't. No. If you were asked me something about horses, I'd be able to say, but. Okay. Uh, what special ability does Andy horse? Um, they're sturdy. The what? They're sturdy. What's that? Well, they're oh no, they're sturdy. S-T-R-D-Y. Yes. Yeah. No, that's something else. What's unique about them? What do they have that no other horse species has? You should know this. They don't study every species. No, but this, this, is, fam this is famous. This is what they're famous for. And you love horses. You should know this. Do you not do you not know? Do you not remember? No. Okay, uh all horses have how many types of walking, whatever it's called? Oh, they have a different gait, don't they? Yes, they have a seventh gait. You can list the gates, right? Walk, trot, canter. Mm -hmm. Are the basic ones. Um then some horses can do like a running walk or a jog. Um, gallop. That's it, right? Um, Tennessee walking horse do a like high stepping walk, not trotting. But yeah. I think I think the Atlantic horse does something like that. Like the they race their legs like really far up and they're like very fancy about it. Hey Loki, hey Loki eighty two. I mean, you come like at the very end. Uh, I guess you didn't. Oh, I, I'm assuming you weren't here, but uh, I did say. Just so you, just so I know. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna try and do a two-hour cast for Baldur's Gate, starting at four instead of five. So, so, oh. Okay. Yeah, I wanna try that because uh, Baldur's Gate isn't really good for just one-hour streams. Like it's just not enough, and I know I'm just. I'm, gonna, I'm so full of energy, I want to do more.
Everything's been so good and great. And just oh, wanna... you're full of energy now. Yeah, full of fucking energy. I fucking, I just want to do everything. Okay, <sighs> I remember that. Yeah, whatever. All right, whatever. You'd be fucking good. I heard a. <laughs> I heard a deer up here. I'm just gonna. Don't tell me what to do. Tell you what to fucking do. I'm fucking bigger than you. I'm fucking huh? tougher than you. I can take you in the fight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too cute and innocent. Do you think you can take me in a fight? <laughs> Seriously, no holds barred. Everything's allowed. Do you think you can take me in a fight? <laughs> um, I'm sure I could find a way to distract you. Uh, no! I am a dead... Oh, I see an animal. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> see? So easy to distract. What? Give me a gun and point me at an animal? No. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> no. Okay. Look. When? Okay. When I when I fight, I'm dedicated. I don't fucking. I'm not gonna. I don't, no. You can't do that. I fucking no way. I'm gonna track this animal. <laughs> I just saw it and I killed it. I'm not tracking that. I'm gonna track it to where it died. It's got in the oh, body. That was my seven millimeter. My that was my first ever magnum shot. What's the matter? Of course she could, oh, Sandercraft says, of course she could take you if she's allowed to kick you in the crotch. Yeah. If I, yeah. If I let her. Thing. You know, you gotta, you gotta defend your nats, dude. One That's time for a buffer seconds. Trophy integrity 91%. 52 meters. Dude, dude, dude. dude. Yeah? That's what you gotta watch out for for me. What? No. Is it so tempting? Look, you know what? You know what? what? I would totally take you on like in a mock fight where the goal is for you to kick me in the nuts. <laughs> she went gonna. I ain't gonna let you, dude. I know it's funny. <laughs> I know how to protect my balls, dude. <laughs> when I was in school, um, I I was kind of a trouble kid like at the very last two years of school. And uh, I kind of got into a few fights. And one thing you learned really quickly is don't let them kick in the nuts. <laughs> or punch in the I nuts. Used, I used to do it to some dude like pretty much every day. Jesus. Alright. Poor guy. Did he you deserve it? He tried, like, yeah, tried flirting with me. Oh. Okay. And I didn't like him. Whatever. That's fair. That's fair. If a dude's a douche, you can kick him in the nuts. In fact, I encourage it. This I goes for our girls as well. If a girl's annoying you, just kick her in the nuts. Yeah. Is there a... I heard an animal out there. You don't know my weak spot. Uh, no. But I could just... To be fair, I could just kick you until I find one. I'm not gonna. I'm just saying I could, like... It's the, it's the process of, uh... Fuck. Process of elimination. I'll just kick you. All over until I find that one spot. Don't kick me. You saying don't kick me? My my weak spot is not being kicked. It's being something else done. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm not gonna go there. No 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 no! It's not 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 sexual. Okay. Or anything. <laughs> okay. It's so tickling. It's... Oh, it's tickling. Is that worse than being kicked in the fucking nards? Tickling just kind of get. I just freeze instantly. I see an animal. I'm gonna kill it. It's dead. Yeah, right. I just freeze instantly if I'm tickled. Fucking noted. <laughs> you know what? I never really thought about it, but okay. If you have an actual fight, like if it's an actual fight, and somebody, like the. The person you're fighting against is super ticklish. Do you think you can? Do you think it would be possible, like, would tickling them actually work if you know where they're ticklish? Yes. You think that would work? Yes. Like, it, it, would a could a martial artist that knows what they're doing do that? Yeah. Be like, okay, he's ticklish, like under the armpits. Go. And instead of just like beating them in the fucking nose, they just fucking give them a little tickle and they just crumble. Wait, what? Me? I'm gonna take a trophy shot. Nice trophy shot, boy. 
So I got two kills. Nice. So I am literally the best hunter ever. I think. <laughs> Guys, take note the super huge ego. I didn't even have to like fucking track it. I just, <laughs> I just spotted super it right there in the hill and took the shot. Yeah, that's how fucking good I am. The super, super, come to super me. big ego. What? Massive ego. Oh my gosh, Yenscraft gives me just an amazing idea. You should tickle Irenicus. Does what? Does D and D have a tickle spell? Because if D and D has a tickle spell, I will cast it on Irenicus because I want to see him giggling. What I did, wanna see what this. What did the other person say? Hmm? What did the other dude say? You should tickle Irenicus. Irenicus is the main villain of Baldur's Gate 2. Oh. And there's my plan too, if I could. If I can. Are bees ticklish? No, bees and insects aren't ticklish. They're fucking freaky. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see any easy kills right now, right here. Oh, by the way, I bought bear bait. Cool. Like, I think it's permanent. Yeah, it's one of those things you just deploy and it stays there. Mhm. Mm so if you ever decide to go to kill like this beautiful, majestic creature, then we can lure them with food, the food that they so badly need to uh. Plan for winter and to uh, feed their young. Would you eat a baby bear? No. Me neither. Would you eat a bear? No. Why not? Because bears tend to be cute and cuddly. Yeah, so are sheep. Hmm? Sheep are really fucking cute. No, they're not. Oh, wait, you... Oh, oh, oh. No? Have you ever been around, like, a like a free... Like, a, just a, a farm sheep. Like, a free range farm sheep. Yes. Have you? Have you ever, ever, ever been around, like, a hundred sheep and lambs in one barn together? Oh, God, yes, I have. I actually have. Uh, they are in the barn at my college, next to the horses, every winter. Mm-hmm. It gets so annoying. Oh my god. But the sheep are so Lushes. cute though. <laughs> yeah, and the lambs are so adorable. They're so sweet and they're so... Mr. If you dare jump up at that jabbit again, I swear to god you're going out with this rim. You can raise... You can raise a lamb to basically become a dog. Not yeah. even a joke. They will... You can house train them. They will, like, jump onto the couch and, like, cuddle you. They will play with the other dogs. They will... There are like there are sheep out there that have been raised by dogs that actually hurt other sheep. Like they are sheep hurting sheep, which is fantastic. They're so they're very intelligent creatures, and absolutely beautiful. They're so okay. cute when they're young. They are cute and cuddly when they have been looked after. No way. They're also very cute just on the fields. I don't like them. Then the wool's too rough. Yeah, the wool's kind of rough. Uh, cows are also real fucking sweethearts. No. Oh, they're so nice. No. Yes, no. cows are they so smell. nice. They they're such sweethearts. They smell. Uh, I mean, not not a clean cow, but a poopy cow smells. Yeah. Like if the you go out, if you go in the field with a cow, oh, it smells just, just like it smells like an animal, I guess. The ones at college stink so much. That's sad. They should stink. No, they're sweet. They're Baby sweet. Cows. I love cows. And oh my god, baby cows are so nice. They're so playful and stupid. The calves are cute. What? Cows? The calves are cute. Yeah, the cows are super cute. Um, what else do we eat? Sheep, cow, chickens. Oh my god, I love chickens. Chickens. Okay. Oh, chickens are such fucking cunts. Okay, if you hand rear a chicken, they are amazing. They are so nice. They're, they really are little cunts. But... Oh, piggies! Oh my god, I love pigs. I love pigs. Horses. Horses are alright. These are all animals that I have eaten and do eat. Hey, baby girl. I don't eat whales. 
I also wouldn't pet a whale. Well, I would, but I mean, I have, you know. I never, I never been in close proximity with a whale. I've seen a whale, but I've never like hung out with one. I've seen a skeleton of a whale. That I have not seen. Horses do tastes. Uh, actually, uh, I don't actually hear yeah. I don't actually think the horses taste good. They're very, the meat is also really stringy and I don't like it. I actually just That's don't like horses. There's not a lot of meat to them. What? There's not a lot of meat, it's mainly muscle. Well, most of this meat. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's stringy it's not, and tough. It's not fat, it's meat. Muscle. But all meat is muscle. Mm, athletic muscle. Not like it's not like a cow who's kind of Oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I get it. It's not like most yeah. horses are genuinely working. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a cow's belly muscle, which just kind of fucking hangs there. I get, it. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Would you ever eat a horse? No. You would never try a horse. No. Is eating a horse comparable to eating a dog to you? Uh, yeah. Really? Mhm. Mm so if you would be, if you had to choose between a dog eating dog and eating a horse, that would be like a fucking horrible decision. Yep. To me, it's easy. I just all right. I'll eat the horse. Actually. You you have just made a powerful enemy. I might actually try dog. I might actually try the dog. No, I don't know. I don't know if I could. I've eaten bugs. Have you eaten a bug? No. I've eaten a bug. I had a... You know what escargot is, right? Snails? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You never had those? No. I had... Uh, snails cooked in garlic. And you, you had this... Uh, you don't like garlic? No, the snail bit. Oh, okay, yeah. So snails cooked in garlic. And these are just like literally just outdoor snails, right? These are the kind of snails you see on the, on the, on the, on the, on the beach, right? Literally. These are the same mm -hmm. species. And you pick them up with a the shell. Then uh, you can see like... Sometimes you can see like the eye stalks sticking out. Like they have the... Uh, the, the, they have the eye stalks out, like they don't—they're not cut off or whatever. They're just cooked with them, and you have to use this little porky thing, and you have to pick them, and you have to pull them out, and then you you know, eat them. And the thing is that they have this front bit that's kind of chewy and kind of like it's like you know eating like a bit of meat, but the back bit is hollow and full. <laughs> it's where the guts are, so it's a completely different texture. And the moment you bite down into it, it's like the soft. You got a splooshes, and it's immediately just becomes a bunch of little pieces, and you realize, oh, I'm eating the intestines. Oh. And then suddenly, I just, I just swallowed it. And it was like, okay, never again. But I've tried clam before. I've never tried clam. My dad loves clam. Didn't like it. My dad eats clam raw from the docks. Ew. No, not you. They bring it in, and he just fucking cracks it open and fucking eats it. It's fucking fine, dude. It's fucking good. Damn. I think it's disgusting. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. When I go to Denmark next, and I'll be going with my dad sometime, we're going to go to the zoo, and this zoo has a bunch of, like, biodomes or whatever, and at the front, and in one of the biodomes, they like to sell you... Well, no, they don't sell you. They like to give you, like, uh... They like to give you, uh... Like, uh, let you sample the food that they give the animals. And they actually have, like, a, a bowl of grubs that you can try out. And I didn't have the balls to try it when I was at the last. So next time I go, I'm totally gonna eat a grub. I'm gonna eat a raw grub, and I'm gonna eat a cooked grub. Actually, I think they're all dead. I think they're all cooked grubs. I really want to taste a cooked grub. And Santa Crab says, I love eating kangaroo. I want to try kangaroo. Oh my god, there's so much meat that I want to try. I wonder what it costs. How much it costs to import kangaroo meat? Oh my god, I could I could make a homemade kangaroo hamburger if I just import some kangaroo meat. Okay, guys, it's nine. It's not ten. Uh.
it's about time we uh, close the episode. But if you guys are interested in this, like, this is, this is literally it. I get maybe a couple of kills eventually, but primarily it's just us exploring. Next episode, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna go to this camp. I'm gonna check out this tower. Maybe this tower as well. And that's it. Oh my god, I want to take ostrich as well. Yes, and ostrich eggs. But yeah, next episode is gonna be uh just finishing off, finishing this off here. And then we're gonna have to be go, we're gonna go all over the place. We're gonna explore this island here. We're exploring all of this. This is a swamp land. This marshland. Then we're going all the way up here. We're exploring all of this, and this is a huge land. Like, there's fucking just so big. We're gonna be kept bringing camping supplies for that, so you can see, uh, you can see, uh, like fast traveling, how that works. We'll be going to Val de Bois. Then I actually bought climbing equipment, so. Yes. We can actually go climbing. We can go climbing. Yes! This is actually something that's gonna be a, in a future episode, but we look forward to it. And then we go to, uh, Heimdall, and we'll go. Over here, and we'll explore. We'll explore everything. Every single map will be explored and showed off. Good. Uh, I guess that's it. It's just gonna be this. It's just gonna be us wandering around, going to all the cool points. We saw the the power station. We saw the hanging bridge. A little campfire here. As you can see, yeah, you can see where we want. Just along the coast, and it's nice. This is gonna be it. This is just us talking and bullshitting, or whatever. Uh, so if you want more of this, check us out. Not tomorrow, motherfucker! That's right! Tomorrow, at 8 p.m., I'm gonna be doing a raid, which I might- I'm actually gonna stream it. I'm gonna stream it. Because it's a Good. new World of Warcraft raid. I'm so excited. So excited. So excited! I thought you didn't do a stream on Friday. I fucking don't! But this is a special occasion, because this is a new raid. <laughs> and I won't even be talking about it. I will, I'll just be streaming it, and it's gonna be mostly just the raid chat. Like... It's gonna be Gaynor getting yeah. fucking mad, and it's gonna be Buddy actually going, <laughs> and it's gonna be fucking I don't know, Mauricia, Mauricia, fucking doing actual smart tactics and getting Gaynor fucking insanely angry by suggesting tactics yeah. for practicing for Mythi, and I'll mostly be there just to keep morale up, morale up, and, be, and go every once in a while. You're doing a good job, you guys, or. If everything's fine, or whatever. Uh, yeah. Seercraft says, for your sake, I'll deserve a bit more available than <laughs> Yeah! Maybe episode 2. But hey, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for now. Uh, next episode will be on Monday, 8 p.m. And, uh, oh, yeah. Seercraft's dad was swearing less when he got stuck in the train. 8 p.m. Uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. though, game of the day is the day of the game. It's gonna be Dark Quest. It's a turn-based RPG sort of strategy kind of, kind of like fucking whatever. 4 p.m. for two hours. Bullets get to you. We're gonna go kill our end because it'll be great. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good night. Bye, guys.